Welcome back, Hookaholics. Another episode of Foul Mouth Fishing. So, uh, I decided I'd get some, uh, some more content up for you, and uh, I got another box, a new subscription, and uh, I thought I'd just share with uh, what I got in the box. So, we'll dive right in to uh, what I ordered. This is another tackle subscription box. Notice that's not what's in here. This this one's that's not it. It's not a it's not MTB either. Ah, oh, new arrival. So uh, it's not my typical Anglers Hall Advanced or my MTB Elite. Um, this is actually a Rush Tackle Box. Rush Tackle Box is another one of those uh, mail order subscription tackle companies. Um, RTB does a whole series of boxes just like Mystery Tackle Box. Um, this, they had a special promotion going, and I jumped on it. Basically, you could get any of their subscription boxes for just the price of shipping. They have multiple tiers, just like uh, MTB. Um, I went for the bare minimum, bare bones, bottom of the range. Uh, this came to, I believe, $9 and some change, but that's because I ordered a specific thing added into here. Uh, I think just the box alone, without that extra item is like five five dollars was the shipping cost um, so they gave you the the actual box for free I will link down in the description of the video of the video what the cost of this box is uh, if you were to just buy it on your own but uh, like I said I was happy enough to jump on the uh, on the little sale that they had going and I got this just for the price of shipping but um, one minute knife easier to be prepared always be prepared um, but I uh, decided I would give them a shot and just go for the original uh, bottom tier so this is basically the bare bones box um, we'll see what we got in here oh right on top all right so uh, the add-on item that they had for the promotion for an extra five dollars I think or six dollars uh, you could get a Neko so I got this little, um, you know, patriotic 4th of July style uh, neck bandana. These are great. They're UV protectant. Uh, they cover your head. They cover your neck. So it keeps a lot of the sun's rays off so you don't get uh, cancer, skin cancer around your neck. It also will keep you cool in the, uh, in the summer when that comes. Uh, they have a little paper wrapping in the Rush Tackle Box. Now this is a Canadian outfit. My box shipped out of... Uh, out of New York, out of Niagara Falls area, but uh, it's the the Rush Tackle Box. I'll leave the again the description of the link downstairs down in the uh, descriptions. Um, it's a Canadian-based company. Just like MTB, you're going to have stickers. So this I got four stickers. All right, I have a sweet little Daiwa sticker. That's cool. I have I have some Daiwa gear. I like Daiwa gear. Uh, Dawn Patrol Bluefish Blitz sticker. That's pretty pretty nice. The old Jeep on the beach. A couple surf fishermen. Ooh, I got five stickers. Happiness is cool. A little bass. A little fish on the. Uh, actually, it's not a bass. A little fish on a on jerk. Stay in school, kids, or skip it and go fishing. Stegger. And finally, <laughs> nice fish you caught. Can, <laughs> can I use it for bait? Now that that's something that definitely fits uh, a lot of us anglers on a on a day-to-day -day basis. We go for the big hogs and we end up with uh, with dinks. But hey, any fish is a good fish. Any time out on the ocean, on the on the bay, out in the lake is a good day. So uh like MTB, they have a little pamphlet. This has the Rush Tackle Box inside your box uh, booklet, like the Dibble. Um, again, you have uh, Deer Angler. Thank you for choosing Rush Tackle Box. We're almost, we are almost as excited to pack your box as you are to receive it. We hope you'll love all the goodies included in this month's box. Now get out there and smash some bass. If you would like to request lures to be featured in our inner box, just send us a message on Facebook. Cheers, the RTB team. And of course, they have uh, Snapchat, Post, and Win uh, for their uh, on their social media. 
So if you snap a picture of the Rush Tackle Box or lure inside, post it with the hashtag Rush Tackle Box or hashtag RTB, share it on Instagram, and you have an ability for one per month to win a Mega Box. Mega Box is, I believe, their top tier, uh, top tier box. Quick guides for smallmouth bass. Um, tips for the from the pros. That's a little nifty little insider information in here. And on the back, like the original MTB, uh, RTB puts their what's in the box on the back of their, you know, used to be on the back of the dibble. Uh, now they went to bait cards. This is on the back of the real Rush, tack, uh, Rush Tackle Box booklet. So, in this box I have six baits or six items. Um, again, this is the bottom tier. This is the first round. This is basically your MTB standard box, um, but it's the Rush Tackle. And we got to start off with a Lunker Hunt Swim Combo. So, let's see what we got here. Lunker Hunt. I guess that's this. Yeah, it's only one. Lunker Hunt's Customs Swim Head. Okay. So, we've got some paddle tail baits with accompanying jig heads. So this is pretty cool. Has a little diagram on the back of how to, how they want you to rig it. Everybody should know how to rig a, a jig head. It's very important. These are quarter ounce, three and a half inch long baits. It's not stapled, so I can pop it open. This is a black blue flake paddle tail swim bait and a pretty nifty little jig head. So you got your jig head here. It's got the double keeper. See right there, wire keeper top and bottom. Cleaned out eyelet. It's got a little, uh, a cool little blue flame paint scheme on the on the jig head. You can see a little blue. And you've got your typical beefy paddle tail. Nice rib design. It'll catch water and displace it. Catch air when you flip it out there. So it'll give you a little bit of a bubble trail for a couple of seconds while you're uh, while you're swimming it along. It almost looks like a double lamb pour, like a cord pour, but that's I guess that's just the sprue that they have from their pouring, and then they clip it off. But as you can see, it almost looks like a uh, like it's ringed on the outside with a different consistency of plastisol, and then a more of a jelly style interior, and a more hardy uh, finished exterior. But nevertheless, it's pretty nifty. I like that, and this is a, uh, you're getting five of the swim paddle, ba uh, paddle tails and two jig heads. They sell this at retail for this box, or they, they retail this uh, from Lunker Hunt at $6.99. That's pretty good. Name brand right off the bat. That's good. Good. Uh, we'll go to the next one down. Smart Baits. This is a brand that I don't have a whole lot of uh, experience with, but I'm happy to get. So we got Smart Baits Color Changing Lures. If you don't know, these are the lures that are uh, thermodynamic. So basically, uh, like the old body glove shirts, they were they had a, a t-shirt where the, the cotton was impregnated with a temperature sensitive um, dye. So when you put, <laughs> back in the day, you would put your hand on a body glove t-shirt uh, in the in the 90s, and your handprint would would stay and would discolor the the fabric. So if the fabric was a bright neon yellow, and you put your hand there, it might turn to a purple, blue, pink, whatever, um, depending on the shirt. They had thousands of different patterns and designs. This is the same basic principle. In cold water temperatures, these baits will hold one color, and at room temperature and warm temperature they hold a different color. So right now, at the current temperature it is in the house, which is pretty warm, because I got the heat cranking because it's cold outside, um, this is basically like a smoke on one side and a black back. So you got this black rear and then this white smoke style front. It's a small little bobble on the tail end, a very nice finesse, um, you know, similar to leech style front end but with that little finesse tail on the end. I like that. And at least now, uh, since Smart Baits has become a little bit more mainstream, they're including on their package the color change without you literally having to have a glass of ice water and a glass of hot water and figure out what the color change is going to be. I know when the original Smart Baits came out, they didn't 
print this. But uh, you can see on the package there, it's got the smoke black uh, at, at room temperature, and then the alternate color is going to be a pearl blue. So it goes from smoke black to pearl blue. Um, now, people have questions, does this work? Does this catch fish? My personal take on smart baits, it's a yes and a no. It catches fishermen. It's something gimmicky, all right? So a bait that's got a rubber that changes color depending on the temperature. What I find valuable isn't so much the gimmick part of it, but it is the fact that depending on your climate, you're going to basically get, say, 10 baits in a pack, and you're actually getting 20 baits because if you're fishing this during the winter as a finesse rig, uh, it's one color. If you're fishing it during the summer, it's another color. So it's like buying two separate bags of baits simultaneously. So if you think of it, the split at 50-50, you got five summer baits in a summer color and five winter baits in a winter color. Same profile. That I like. Um, these are... Let me find the name. So these are the straight shooters. You get 12 in this package. They are four-inch uh, baits. And they have on the back here the different profiles that they have. So they have your basic, uh, they call it the brainy bugger, which is your craw pattern. They have your gifted grub, which is your, you know, your uh, curly tail grub pattern. Uh, the smart bomb, which is your Senko. Uh, the swim Jesse, which is your, you know, paddle tail swim bait. Uh, the straight shooter, which is your finesse. The foxy frog. The mighty minnow, which is your fluke bait. Uh, your Fiona, Fiona fe finesse, which I guess is your finesse worm. Uh, the Robbie Ribbon, which is Ribbon Tail Worm, and you have now they're coming out with Glow Baits, which would, I believe, be an ultraviolet sensitive, um, a UV-based uh, rubber or plastisol that um, would reflect the light going, penetrating the water for the fish to see under the UV spectrum. So that that's cool. I, I'll be interested. Maybe someday I'll be able to pick up a, a Glow Baits and, and play around with those. There are people that think that UV uh, light baits or UV sensitive reactive plastic baits might uh, be co you know coerce bass and, and other fish into striking. So that's good. Uh, smart baits, this 12 pack for seven dollars and ninety nine cents. Good quantity 12, uh, pricey nevertheless. But again, technology you're paying for the color changing uh, chemicals in the plastic. Next down, Venom lures. This is the IO Grass Worm Venom Worm. So we got, I'm going to assume it's this. Fortified with Venom's Grab, biodegradable, fish attractive. Uh, 10 inch pepper grass worm. So you got a, basically a green pumpkin black flake. Smells rubbery. Doesn't smell like. Oh, it's got a semi rubber, semi coffee scent. It's almost like, uh, you know, G.I. Joe when you pull it out of the package, you know, the hand, or, or uh, the old, old 1980s, like, uh, toys. Yeah, <laughs> it brings me back. So you got a 10-inch, inch, ten inch uh, just a worm, big Mondo, definitely catch the, uh, the big Mama Bass when spawn comes up, uh, well, not spawn, because they won't be eaten when they're on beds, really. But uh, right now, in the pre-spawn, you're going to be hitting all the, all the big bass as they're feeding up. Um, and then, of course, post-spawn, you're going to hit them when they're feeding again, when they're, when they're starved out from watching their, their fry, watching their baby bass grow. Now they can, uh, they can go back to eating, and this will definitely catch them because they'll be hungry for some big meals to replenish their energy. Uh, it's flat bottom and then round on the one side, so this is obviously a, a, you know, a top-pour mold. It's not an injected mold. Uh, Venom Lure is pretty nice bait. It's good sturdy, heavy gauge rubber. I can tell that it's not going to tear up too badly. Um, I do like the scent. It's not. It's not intrusive. You know, atrocious and, and intrusive. It's it's pretty good. Uh, so they got these. The IO grass worms, or I guess it's IO is for one O with ten inch uh, uh, grass worms, is uh, five dollars and twenty five cents. And you get six of them in here. And they call it Green Pumpkin Candy is the color. A, it's called a peppergrass worm, but they're calling the color uh, Green Pumpkin Candy because I do see some uh, purple-green flake 
in there along with some black flakes. So there's that. Next, big ticket item. For $11.99 from Live Target is the Live Target Sunfish. So you got the little itty bitty Live Target Sunfish. I think I have one of these. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have one of these. Maybe in the larger size. I think I have this in the next size up. Uh, this is the three and a half inch. I think I have like the four or five inch. Uh, half ounce. It's just um, it's just a swim bait. You know, it's a little rubber swim bait. I it's not a jointed hard swim bait, which I honestly prefer over these. Um, these have their place. A lot of people like them. Uh, I really like to go for the more upper echelon versions of a swim bait, if at all possible. Um, I don't know, there's just something about the the rubbery paddle tails, you know, without the joint. It just, I'd rather have a hard body with multiple segmented joints that I can get that S waver action rather than just pull this and just get a fluttery tail and vibration. I mean, if I'm going to do this, I'd rather just go with a rattle trap. That's my personal preference, that's just my technique. I'd rather go with a rattle trap rather than, you know, and, and have trebles and a better hookup ratio, in my opinion, um, than a rubberized, you know, very exposed, large hook. But these do catch fish, no doubt about it. They definitely catch fish. And it does come with the keeper on the bottom if you wanted to add that treble stinger. I still cannot understand why they do not include a treble. Throw it in the package. Throw a treble over here, or over here, or over in this big void. If you're going to give us the, the positioning for a treble hook, give us the little split ring on a treble in the corner, and then the, the bait without the treble, you know, in the package. And then if you choose to run the stinger, it's all included. You're ready just to pop it out, put it on, go fishing. Um, I think it's more advantageous for, for new anglers, uh, youth anglers, etc., to... Uh, you know, have everything ready to go right out the box uh, and not have to, like, fuss around for your other box of terminal tackle and then find a fitting treble. You know. Anyway, Live Target, good, good brand. I have a lot of like Live Target stuff. I love Live Target, so that's good. Next, another Venom Lures item. Um, okay, here we go. This is a number one... So a number one hook, eighth ounce set of four jig heads. These they call these the Vemlors rig head. So I'm gonna figure it's gonna be the their version of a Ned rig head. Open this up. What out? Oh, just slide one out the bottom. Yeah. So it's a little typical mushroom head jig, Ned rig wire keeper on the bottom. Uh, again, there's that lovely, lovely, totally sealed eyelet that I'm going to have to poke out with another hook. So, uh, typically what happens with these powder coating is a, uh, it's an interesting process. So, it's a powder paint. Typically, in mass production, they static electrify the jig head. They'll dip it into... Uh, the powdered paint, and then they'll bake it in an oven, which will turn the paint into a, a liquid and enamel, and then they'll cool it off and it'll harden into an enamelized paint for the jig head. Um, the other way to do it besides static and, and actually uh, spraying it in the air, um, aerosol style, is to, is to dip it and then hang it, let the extra paint, kind of, the extra powder kind of shake off, and then bake it. When you're dipping it and then shaking to let the excess, uh, you know, by gravity fall off, there's a way to do it high end and there's a way to do it quick and fast and easy. Quick, fast, dirty, and easy is dip it in the paint, shake it, and bake it. The, pr the better way is to use what's called a hydro bed or, um, or um, uh, what do they call it? I, I always call them hydro beds, but basically you have your, your, bed of powder, of powdered paint, and you're, you pump air into it, and it makes 
it aerates the powder and keeps the powder constantly stirring. It liquefies, it turns the, the powder into a liquefied sort of state, kind of like silly putty, right? So if you do that as you're dipping it in and you're pulling it out, because the paint is constantly in motion, as you're pulling it out, it automatically will remove pretty much 90% of the excess. There is no real shaking you have to do. It comes out of the, the fact that the, that the fluidity of the powder itself, um, you know, pulls the, the extra powder away, and you don't typically get the eyelets uh, bunged up with extra powder paint. And then, of course, when you put in the oven, it'll shrink away from the eye and you'll have an exposed eye. Um, it, it's a little bit more intensive. It's actually, you know, it's an added stage. You're dipping it into the powder, but the powder has, you know, is being constantly stirred, and uh, it's a little more expensive a treatment. I wish that more powder coat paints uh, would do that rather than just a bit of paint coming down a conveyor, dipping it, and then shaking it, and then baking it, it would avoid that problem altogether. Finally, our sixth bait in this pack. Uh, the Fantrix, Fanatrix, F-A-N-A-T-I-K, a oh, fan Fanatic, duh. The K looks like an X, the way that the font is. I'm sorry, Fanatic baits. Uh, Raider Craw for $3.99. Now, real quick, the Jig Heads was a four-pack, and the four-pack was $4.19. $3.99 for the Fantrex. These are little finesse... Oh, okay, so these are little craws. Little itty-bitty finesse craws. 2.2 uh, inch, a package of eight, and what, the, what color are they calling this? Color 024. It's a basically yellow chartreuse color. I like these. All right. Yeah, okay. These are these are really good. So you've got they do have air pockets in them. They look like they attempt to be hollow or maybe that's just a faulty injection on this one, but there is air bubbles inside. No, there seems to be both cloth in it. Let me quickly grab another one. I just like to be sure, but that one definitely has a void with air pockets inside of the claw. This one here does not seem to, so I'm going to say this one's just a production fault. But uh, little claws, nice long antennae feelers, and two sets of small appendages on either side of the tail section. Perfect for those Ven rigs. Um, so the little finesse Ned jig head, these tiny little finesse, uh, you know, crawdad uh, raiders, I think that'll definitely catch fish, especially in right now in, in uh, January in the cold water, uh, where you know, we're hovering around 30s and 40s. Um, that's definitely, uh, definitely a go-to catching anything. And we got trout in our, in our rivers and in our lake. So uh, I can catch trout on this. I can catch anything, especially that color. A bright orange head and a bright yellow or a bright pink is going to pull trout. Um, brooks and rainbows, etc. So Fanatic, with a K, it's going to look like an X on the print over there. But uh, uh, tested by I-U-R-I-I Petrush. So this is made in Ukraine. A Ukrainian bait. So that's even a plus. So now I have an intercontinental fishing tackle box, thanks to these guys from uh, from the Ukraine. Fan, fanatic. All right. That's cool. $3.99. That's a really good price point for, for that. And that's the gist of the, uh, the RTB. So, I don't know. If you like this, drop a comment down. If you like the uh, Rush Tackle, uh, I just threw it in there because they had the sale. I might. I'll leave it to you. Comment down below, if you want me to go back to Rush Tackle and get their highest tier box and do a video on what's in their top tier box. So I will get the top tier, whatever the bells and whistles are, and uh, I'll throw that in the, uh, in the comments. You tell me what you want, and uh, we'll go from there. If you like this, make sure that you're liked and subscribed. Hit that bell notification for everything so that we can uh, be in touch, so you can catch all the hookaholic content, all the foul mouth fishing 
uh, you know, drops and posts. Um, remember, we're getting closer and closer to that giveaway for 500 subscribers. I think we're at 460 now. So we're, get, we're just ticking away, and hopefully we'll get to 500 soon, and hopefully by the end of 2020, I'll hit that 1,000 mark and hit my, my goal to get my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. So uh, I thank all of you for joining, spending a little time with me and the mascot and all the little fishy friends back there. Uh, next episode is going to probably be back down in the living room with a special treat, which I wished I was ready. I'm almost, it's almost done because I definitely would have liked to showcase this in our brand new foul mouth fishing test tank. So uh, I've got that all rigged up and I'm working on it and we're going to be able to take baits from the box right to the tank and you can actually see the action, especially claws like that with the little air pockets in to see how they float and react on net heads, etc. Thank you for joining me, foul mouth fishing. As always, I'll catch you on the next cast. Peace.